Hey you guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Justin's Taverns. We're back at you another brand new review from home. We're finally back from vacation, guys. This is Pretty Lady's mixed drink, alright? This is what she loves to make. It is Bacardi Dragonberry Rum, okay? Mixed with strawberries and raspberries, and you let it sit for a week, and then you drink it. And you can eat it, alright? So it comes out, this. so Bacardi is a clear rum, alright? It is a clear dragon fruit uh, rum. And then, like I said, you got the strawberries at the top and the raspberries at the bottom. So, we're going to try it for you guys and let you guys know how it tastes. Because this has to be one of my favorite things that the pretty lady mixes up when we're making cocktails or mixed drinks. Alright, so, first off, we're going to grab us a strawberry out of this thing, if I can get one. And they try to run away from you. And then I'm also going to get a raspberry. I'm not a raspberry fan, but... I gotta be able to do the whole review for you guys, right? So, we're gonna get us a raspberry out of here. If I can get it. Here we go. Got the raspberry. And we gotta drink it, right? So, pour it up. We're gonna make a mess. Love making messes. First video, and we're already making messes. So, there's nothing else added to this. Just the fruit and just the rum. This whole, um, Mason jars rum with the fruit. Nose definitely drops down on the passion fruit, but or uh, dragon fruit, but brings way up on that strawberry. Strawberry is really heavy on the top. Um, the raspberry kind of pulls in a little later, but cheers. So the great thing about this drink is it takes that rum aspect and it pulls away from it because you add in the extra strawberries and you add in these raspberries where the rum kind of acts the same way as it does for moonshine and you put fruits in there. It brings the alcohol into the fruit and it pulls the color out and into the liquid. So therefore with rum, it went from clear to red because the strawberry is red and the raspberries are red. Same thing if you was to mix it with a different color berry. Um, but it's a really good drink. It's sweet. It's slightly sour, only depending on the strawberries that you get. You guys know some strawberries can be really sour, some can be really sweet. So it kind of bounces off that. Starting with our strawberry. See, you can see how it's already pulled that color out of there. Mm. So what happens when the alcohol comes up into the strawberry there it almost hardens the inside but it still has that very flavorful strawberry taste but the rum overwhelms it now and it gives the alcohol flavor to the strawberry absolutely great now raspberries i'm not real fine a fond of or a fan of but they're not bad um but you can see the colors going on that and they're almost a very light pink To the raspberry becomes bitter slightly bitter kind of really hard and um almost like a fresh blackberry like if you was to pick one wash it off and eat it that's kind of the the um, texture that you're going to get if you're curious um flavor wise this is a dangerous drink because there's not necessarily a whole lot of alcohol but on the back end you drink it more because there's not that strong content in there but hey Good drink. Pretty Lady does amazing when she makes these. Cheers. It goes great. What she do is she'll take her infuser thingy and then she'll put the fruit in the infuser and then pour the rum in or she'll mix it like this or she has another one that she can freeze. She'll freeze it and then pour it in there and have it chilled. Either way, it's really, really good, guys. It's cheap to make. The Bacardi itself, I think it's only like 15, 20 bucks, and then the fruit. You guys are absolutely amazing. Remember, I buy it so you guys don't have to. I try it so you guys don't have to. And my friends are better than your friends because they make it so I don't have to. And I absolutely love this stuff, guys. So, you know what it is. Like, comment, subscribe, become part of the family. We're going every single day with your numbers or knowledge. Yes, it is October. Today's October 2nd. October 4th, right? Not tonight, not tomorrow. But tomorrow night at midnight starts October, sober October, guys, okay? Be ready for it. 
We got a lot of videos coming your way. I'm super excited about doing this month long um, trip with you guys, and we're gonna see how it does and see what kind of transformations that we go through, weight loss or whatever, kicking alcohol for a month. We'll see what's going on. I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another brand new review. So, actually, no, tomorrow will be a Miller Monday, the last one for October. I love you guys, and I'll see you then. Till later, till next time, till always. Welcome to the tavern, and I'll see you guys then. Have a great night.